go. So this is my new CJ 3.75 Angler with a mangrove jack uh, fold-up trailer. So I'll just uh, show you through and see what I've done. It's only a couple of weeks old, been out for a few trips and caught some whiting. Very nice uh, little car topper. It's not little, but um, it certainly fits on the roof rack quite okay and travels very nicely with um, the trailer as well. This, uh, this trailer is all aluminium pulls apart uh, these pins, stainless steel pins that run all the way through. I've just put some um, some cable on while I go down my local boat ramp so no one can uh, pull the pins out and take the trailer. I'm going to go away somewhere camping, uh, take that off and uh, pull it all apart. Even the wheels come apart there. We can uh, leave it together if you want to. But uh, very nice little setup. 38 kilos all up. The boat just got a uh, life jacket, uh, well, flares and stuff uh, in the front, EPIRB, a couple little seats, got some pockets made on uh, each side. Just put a uh, swivel seat on the back and uh, echo sounder. And I've made a little floor, which I'll show you in a minute for, for in the middle there. And in the back there's plenty of room for anything else. I've chosen a 9.9 .9 Yamaha um, rather than what would have been better as a 15 horsepower four stroke. This is a 9.9 .9 four stroke. Uh, the reason is uh, for for weight. So it's easier for me to lift in and out of the car and, and load. Uh, I do feel that the, uh, the prop is a little bit small and I will try uh, the next size up prop. Um, next size up in diameter and, and pitch. Uh, it, it will get up on the plane, but it will be sort of half to three quarters throttle before it will actually get up on plane. Uh, transducer there, just got a bracket made uh, for that as well, so I didn't have to drill into the into the transom. Uh, otherwise, nice little motor, uh, plenty of power. Uh, just the props are a little bit small. The slips have been in the water with this sort of size and weight boat. Otherwise, uh, very pleased, very nice setup. Uh, like the gunnels, they're good for the rod holders. And uh, I'll just pop the floor in. So, this is just uh, 12 mil marine ply, and uh, it just sits on the ribs in there at the moment. It um, just pops in, just drops in, just like that. So I'll get some carpet for it uh, in a little while and uh, you notice there's some gaps there that's just the width. This is one obviously one piece of wood and that's uh, the 1220 width and because uh, the boat goes in the front it just sneaks in nicely there. Just had to trim it a bit. Otherwise it's nice, really nice to have. Um, easy to take out, clean underneath. If I need to put it on the roof rack I can uh, take it out and just save a bit of weight and uh, just actually put the wood in the roof rack itself and then lift the boat up without it in there and I'll just show you on the back I just made up uh, some poly pipe fittings to, to fit inside the rod holders just with some 45 degree bends there's the 45 degree bends and some pipe just bolted bolted to the back of the light board and they just pop in there like that Nice and easy, nice and quick. And uh, this is a fully licensed trailer. Uh, comes uh, licensed. And just run the, run the lead down to the front. And that gets you down to your local boat ramp. And uh, obviously you don't need that uh, when you're camping or in a uh, campground on a beach launching. But you do uh, around home. And you just take that off when you, when you launch. Put it back on when you're going home. So, all in all, very pleased. Very nice uh, boat. Very stable in the water. Uh, rides through, through the chop rather than uh, bouncing over the top of it. Very comfortable, very quiet. Doesn't vibrate. And uh, good size, good weight. Um, 
Yeah, just just light enough to get on top of a roof rack. Uh, you can push it up with, with two people or some sort of boat loader would be easier. But that's it. Uh, I'll show you more as more, more comes along.